Looks like somebody's found a bug in my code. Let me just have a look. What? And another person's got a problem as well. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so in one of my comments to one of my tutorials, somebody says that they found a bug in my code. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so basically the person says, I don't know if they're a man or a woman, but hi dear, thank you for your tutorials. I uh, check your code and test in Lollipop. Marshmallow have debug. Um, Debugging a marshmallow, I gather. English is obviously not their first language, but that's 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 okay. When finish record, can't preview. Okay, so they can't start up the preview session. Have bug. Okay, do, do I have a bug or they have a bug? Please check your code again. Oh, maybe I have a bug. And test again. Okay. Uh, my comment to this person is, if you've watched the video, you can see that I can restart preview on my Nexus 5X device. So on the device hardware and Marshmallow environment I'm using, I can produce, I can not produce their problem, everything works fine. I can start both the preview sessions and the record sessions fine. So it doesn't matter if I test again, you know, you can see on the video that um, what I'm doing is working fine. But it's obviously, obviously that this person does have a problem. But what what pulls in my attention is another comment. Let me just see if I can find. Okay, here we go. Same problem here. My code on figure failed, um, and show toast unable to set up preview. So this person's having the exact same problem. One good thing that they're showing me here is Samsung 5.5. They're using a Samsung 5 device, which is good. To tell me that and they're running on lollipop os so that's very good information there and as you can see i only use android nexus devices such as the device here nexus 5x uh, the reason i use that is because that's basically been supported by google in, in development of the handset so it uses all well tested reference code um, implemented and recommended as a handheld device should be set up by Google themselves and supported by Google as their, one, as their reference handset, so to speak. So these are the uh, ideal devices to be working on. Um, if you're using any other device, such as Samsung devices, HTD, HTC devices, or any other non-Nexus devices, they're going to have additional code to support the hardware they've been put onto, as well as any UI overlays that they use. So they're going to have a bunch of additional code and maybe different types of hardware as well. So they they could reproduce problems that you don't see in ne Nexus devices. And those problems you can think of as additional problems, not core problems. They're code built on top of the Nexus 5, you could say. So using non-Nexus devices, you potentially can see problems that I won't see and I won't be able to reproduce. In other words, I won't be able to support. And two people have seen the problem, so that does get my attention. So I actually do have a Samsung Note 4 device, which is very similar in hardware to the Samsung 5 device. So what I'm going to just try, and this is only once, this is probably the only time that I'm going to run development code on a Nexus, on a Samsung Note 4, because it's got a whole bunch of additional code extra to my uh, Nexus 5X, and it just makes debugging development so much more challenging. But for this example, this tutorial series is going to be about debugging on Android devices. So let me see if I can reproduce this problem on the Samsung Note 4. So let's go over to my Android Studio. Just for reference, I am using Android Studio 2.0, so there's probably going to have to be things just to work around because it uses a newer version of Gradle. Okay, so I've got Android Studio here. Now what I want to do is, it's, it's, an, it's an older version, it's a slightly older tutorial here, so 
I'm going to use the git tag just to get that older environment. So if I just type git tag, and it's here, camera to video capture. So select that, and check out that tag. So go down to git, check out tag or revision, and select camera to capture. Okay, already I've got some Gradle stuff here, so just let me close this and let me just clean my master environment. Now I'll switch across to the tag. Okay, I need to reload the project. Wait for Gradle to configure everything. Okay, so it's telling me I'm using an older version of Gradle. Because it's Android uh, 2.0, we want to use Instant Run. So this is going to be faster for our development. So I'm going to select Update. And wait for that to sync. Now I've got an error. This is all stuff that you're going to have if you've got an older project on the older version of Android Studio and you're moving up to Android Studio 2.0. Current version is 2.0 and it's telling me my wrapper properties. Okay, let's go to that file. We need to update that to 2.0. Let's open up the Gradle, Gradle wrapper properties and let's change that line to 1.0. Save that and try again. Okay, now that's now done. Let's close that file. Okay, I'll just turn on my Note 4 device here. Now let's try running that, running the application. Okay, it sees my device. Okay, that took 2 minutes 18 seconds for the Gradle build to happen. A little bit frustrating, now it's indexing. Okay, I just want to filter out that name, so let me find out what I've called it. So I'll just type mob app tut. Okay, so the camera application started. Now let's try recording. Stop recording. Okay, it has frozen and I've got an error. And the Note 4 is prompting me if I want to uninstall the device. Not for development, I don't. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly have a look what's happening here. And I'm basically interested in this line here. I'm getting a, an exception here. Camera device is already closed, so something's closed the camera device. And it's given me a few lines of code to look at as an indication. So at this stage, I'm going to conclude the introduction to debugging here. Basically, we've confirmed that we've got a problem, which is good. So we can move on for that because we can reproduce a problem. If you can reproduce a problem, you've got the you've got the clues in place of how to resolve that problem. So it's very important to be able to reproduce the problem, which we can do on the Samsung Note 4 device. So at this stage, I'm going to conclude it, and following this is going to be another tutorial 
on how to identify the original cause of the problem, which is going to be quite a long tutorial. So I'll conclude this tutorial here. If you want to get notified of the updates to this tutorial or any of the other uh, application tutorials I'm working on, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below me. And surrounding me is all my social media accounts as well. So if you want to keep up to date with all the news and happenings in the world of mobile world, mobile application tutorials, just select on any of those links surrounding me and you can keep track of what I'm working on and the news um, related to my channel. Anyway, that's all for this one. Bye for now.